You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6.30. We think it's a huge victory for uh, Central Illinois, uh, the landowners, and overall community health. A multi-state underground pipeline is on hold, at least in Illinois, and environmental groups are celebrating. Companies are being told to limit their emissions. One company wants to store them underground. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hankey is live in our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, so what is slowing down the project? Well, over the last several months, this project has been hit by plenty of public backlash, as well as some skepticism from the state. But while the company is withdrawing this application, they plan to come forward with a new one soon. It's called carbon sequestration. Instead of sending CO2 emissions into the air, they are stored underground. Navigator Heartland Greenway wants to build a CO2 pipeline that stretches from South Dakota into Nebraska, Iowa, and Illinois. What it's looking to do is, is really solve um, the, the inf infrastructure issues that exist right now in terms of transportation of CO2. So but this proposal caught a lot of heat from Illinois environmentalists and farmers. It's just such an interesting uh, round table of people that were all coming together and saying we don't want this. Farmers fought hard because the company wanted eminent domain rights for this project. Environmental groups like the Sierra Club worry about the potential risks that come with storing CO2 underground, especially if there's a leak. It's literally an asphyxiant. Uh, it can kill cattle, it can kill farms, uh, or I'm sorry, it can kill um, all types of wildlife. So it's just extremely dangerous. Navigator submitted its application to the Illinois Commerce Commission, but the agency had plenty of criticisms of its own. Testimony from an ICC employee tasked with reviewing the application found some big holes in the proposal. First, there were no plans for an actual end to this pipeline. Second, the company only had agreements for 50% of the land they needed. The employee testimony said, quote, at this time, I cannot be certain that HGCS will eventually obtain all such permits and approvals. Now, Navigator's Vice President of Government and Public Affairs did confirm they will be submitting another application. And according to their documentation, it will actually contain some changes to the routing, but it's not going to scale the routing through central Illinois back. It's actually going to increase it and go further into the state. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCI3.